click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends this is the last video for the chapter image segmentation so this way we shall be covered with chapter number 11 also so we started to have the introduction of this image segmentation with the first topic what is image segmentation so segmentation actually partitions the image components into various regions based on to certain criteria so we have gone through the topics like detection of isolated points then line detection we have also the knowledge of age models hence the age detection we were able to understand the very popular thresholding approach for image segmentation we have covered after that the region based methods also we have covered then the segmentation by using the morphological watersheds and lastly the use of motion was also there to have image segmentation we had the practical demonstrations of this segmentation techniques first of all for the age detection and also by the thresholding approach and the introduction of watersheds in the previous video now let us have one more problem to just conclude this particular chapter that is miscellaneous problem number 1 we take so let us go through so here we start with miscellaneous problem number 1 we want the problem statement here so problem statement starts with consider the image segment image segment must be given to us so the image segment is provided here so here we can count that we have total 8 number of columns and 8 number of rows here so 8 by 8 64 pixel intensity values are arranged here into the matrix form representing the given image segment now what is the task to be performed in this miscellaneous problem number 1 that for the given image segment based on to the histogram we have to segment the image into two regions so as we are asked to have the segmentation to look at the histogram so you should be able to first of all form the histogram of it so usually you must have seen several times i have demonstrated using the matlab with the simple function that is i am hist here but in the chapter with respect to the image enhancement where we have covered for the spatial domain histogram we have covered histogram equalization so histogram is actually a graph so it is a plot on to the horizontal axis generally we take the total number of possible gray level values or intensity level values and we mark the number of occurrences how many times those particular gray level or intensity level values have appeared into the image segment so let us proceed to solve this particular problem so we are supposed to follow step number 1 we mark here that is computation of the histogram of the input image so the histogram of the input image gives us the frequency of occurrence of the gray level so this is another definition we must say introducing the histogram and for the given image segment it can be given in the table form initially so this table values can also be plotted onto the graph so here we have the first row representing the gray levels so 128 64 32 and 8 so these are the only possible gray levels that are available into the given image segment having eight rows and eight columns the frequency of occurrences have been plotted here against these gray level values and they have been provided into the second row so 128 gray level has appeared 22 times here 64 gray level has appeared 24 times the maximum one the 32 gray level has appeared 8 times the least one and the 8 gray level has appeared 10 times so in general for 8 bit environment if you take we have the gray level values right from 0 to that of 255 the discrete values we must always take here for the digital images here so now in the given image segment we have only the four gray levels appearing throughout the 64 locations for the eight rows and eight columns here so the tabulation is definitely helpful to us from these particular values we proceed to have the step number 2 here so step number 2 we provide the title that is segmentation based on to the histogram that we have just now visualized here so from the histogram of the image it is very very obvious that the gray level which occurs the least is the value 32 
so we can select the value of 32 to be acting as the threshold here generally we have seen whenever the bimodal type of histogram we have so at the valley point we can put the threshold value so we can put the condition that the pixel values that are having the intensity is greater than the threshold may be accommodated to the region number one and those pixel intensity values are having the values less than that of the threshold value can be accommodated to the region two here so this way we can have the separation of the complete image samples into two regions initially so to look at the given image sample we can have the selection of the threshold like this it is 32 so now the input image can be divided into the two regions and we can have the region one defined as gray level value less than or equal to 32 whereas the region two we can define gray level value that is greater than 32 so the input image after this particular decision with respect to the region one and region two if applied then we can obtain the segmented image the segmented image will be like this so the segmented image is again available with the same dimensions that is eight rows and eight columns here the first row after application of the definition of region one and two we have two 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 one 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 so out of the eight elements into the first row the first five have been accommodated to the region two here and last three elements have been accommodated to the region one here similar is the case for the second row the first five elements of region two and last three for the region one here in the third row we have first two elements belonging to the region one as per the definition and rest of all the six elements are belonging to region number two here in the fourth row we have first element belonging to region one and then four elements to that of region two then again we have one element from region one and last two elements to that of the region two here in the next row we have the six elements first of all to the region two then two elements to that of the region one similar is the case to that of the next row as well and by the seventh row we have the sequence of regions as one two one two 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 and in the last row one one two 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 so this is the resultant image after segmentation after applying the threshold to look at the histogram values so i hope the simple problem that we have taken as miscellaneous problem number one has made the concept very very clear with respect to the image segmentation by the next lecture we shall be starting with the new chapter and the first topic from the chapter we shall be addressing the chapter and its first topic the topic we title here that is boundary following so this will be the 12th chapter for the subject digital image processing i hope you are definitely benefited by the knowledge we share for this subject if you want to have some more information regarding the concepts regarding the practical sessions regarding the practice of miscellaneous problems like this you can surely subscribe to ekeda channel thank you